You're yeah, also like, the new kids, so like, yeah, we just my, goes, buddy. my opinions count for nothing. And yeah, I exactly. Now you're yeah. getting it. Look, why number three is the Welcome best to the one. channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back guys to another episode of Wine for the People. If you haven't figured out what we're trying to do here, we are trying to build the world's most inclusive wine community. And this week, we are doing our normal blind tastings. We have a special guest here for those longtime viewers of the show you might recognize, Henry Hammersley. <laughs> it's not gin. <laughs> I'm Henry, I work at Applewood Distillery. I'm the brand ambassador for Applewood. I never usually do this, I, well, Actually, no, I definitely do this quite a lot, actually. And I usually, I don't have anyone to tell my tasting notes to, so here we go. Sorry. Whoa! That's cool. One number one. Uh, looks like we've gone more red than white this week, which is always a treat to my Monday. Very purpley red wine. Whoa, yeah. It's pretty juicy, like straight out of the gate. Like big red fruits. Yeah, yum. Um, would be my first note, and then, mmm, would be my second note. Fruit bomb. Yeah, pure blackberry. Just a ripe blackberry. Just in that punnet when they're perfectly in season. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, ha. Oh. Now we're talking sun-dried tomato. This is Savory Village. That's where we are. We're in Savory <laughs> Smurf Village right now, and everyone's being super savory. Really bright and juicy on the front of the palate, uh, and then you just do get this sort of like, yeah, like whiny heat that sort of comes through at the end. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Just juice, mm. put it in a juice box. That's phenomenal, that's really, really fun. It's spicy and opulent, like I'm thinking Shiraz, baby. That's like, mm, that's juice. Delicious. Simple, fun, approachable, not overtly serious, um, but very good fun. Full case, it's a full case. <sighs> Red, still looking that real quite dark claret sort of colour. I think claret's the word. Claret's what blood is, I think. Yeah, cool. No help from Lucky. Um, Pretty much looks like almost identical to the first. A little bit more herby, like sage. It smells a lot like sage. Oh, okay. Okay. Oofed. Oh, this is like, yeah, tobacco, earthy, bacony. It's got a really, oh man, it's, it's almost like dates, prunes, like prunes. Oh, prunes, yes! Yep, absolutely. That's what I wanted wine number one to taste like. I think it's Pinot, because I think all red wines taste like that are kind of Pinot. -y. Definitely one that I wouldn't mind throwing in the fridge for a little while. Just got this really nice sort of like a sour grape, like confectionery sort of thing. Yeah, it's a delicious wine. It's really quite intriguing. I, I, have, I have no idea what it is. I reckon this would develop actually quite nicely in a bottle and it, with a bit of time. And yeah, I want a big pot of stag bowl, please. That's a red wine. I think, I think, I think that's exy. I think that's expensive. I think that has been really well put together. Baby, baby. I think it's well balanced. Oh, it's rich, it's decadent, it's opulent, and it's savory. I'm getting 12 straight out of the gate. No holes barred. The first two wines have been absolutely crackerjack. Three, out of the kind of purpley end of the spectrum, this almost has like a fleck of brown, but it feels pretty crimson. It's a little bit more stainless steel. This is a little bit more clean. Just a little bit, little bit more fruit forward. Again, like just a little bit less going on in this one, but still really intriguing, really intriguing noses. Really lifted sort of, I don't know what lifted means. People just say it. Uh, really lifted. These three wines all feel quite similar to me, to be honest, uh, but the difference is that like, this bed is too small, that bed is too big, this bed is just right. It's classic Goldilocks pairing, but in this situation, I actually prefer this one to the other two. Oh, man. That's a cool breeze. That's delicious. This is this is awesome. I drink shitloads of this. Man, it's brooding, it's serious, it's got personality, it's got swagger. Oh, again, you know, rounded, elegant, it's a bit shorter, like it's, it's a bit less rich. It's not quite as rich as some of the others we've had today, but still like a really good, easy drinking wine. I'm not even gonna guess for idols. I'm just gonna say fave of three. Price wise, 30 bucks. Don't think it's gonna break the bank. And it's a six, but it's a six leaning towards the 12, whereas the last one was a six leaning towards the three. So it's still just like slowly stepping up. 
Wine number four. You talk about light reds, like just looking at those two colors next to each other, this is just, this looks like water with a bit of cordial in it in terms of color, which could be the thing that I've been looking for this entire lineup. Bright, lifted, bit of VA, totally fine. Nothing scary here. Oh, okay, now we're starting to get into cherries. Like cherry red, a little bit more translucent, but really, really cool. The air, this almost looks like, you know, Sonia. It's like raspberry blood. I'm fucking into this. What a delightful thirst quenching drink. Cool, this has got bugger all going on. It's just really like, it tastes kind of like watered down Ribena. It's got a really nice kind of chewy green tannin to it. I think this is a wine that we'll be drinking absolutely supremely in about six months from now. It feels pretty, pretty squirmy in bottle uh, and that's totally fine, but it's definitely a afternoon swoosher. It is one you just want to guzzle. Mm, yeah, total raspberry. That's a raspberry gangbang. That's a, that's an absolute raspberry party. That's an absolute raspberry party. That's awesome. Uh, 35 buckaroos, I'm happy with that. <coughs> I was waiting for that to happen. Delicious, uh, park wine elite status. Like this is begging for a good time, a rug and some hummus. Ah, wine number five is when we're onto the Blanc to finish us off. Quite yellow, looks quite honeyed, could be a little bit sweet, but also could be a trick. So I have been burned before on this show. It's nice and brioche and lemony and flinty. It's really good. Wow, it's got this really cool precision to it. Like it's a great, this like clean wet slate thing going on. Mm. Oh yeah, okay. This is clean, this is crystal clear, this is good fruit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm talking like, this could be like Shannon or maybe even Garganega, like a like an alternative varietal, maybe even Fiano, like that kind of the like bursting kind of savory fruit. Oh yeah, cool, yeah, yeah. Nice little white wine. Um, Very low on acid, very easy to drink. Doesn't have, uh, again, want to drink it cold because I don't know I like cold water I don't like tepid water shout out to Rand my housemate you know what I'm talking about feels like Chablis um, super mineral and taut bright kind of like briochey but mineral aromatics and nice kind of like stone fruity peach thing but then it just the finish is just so refreshing it's mineral I want this chilled down a bunch more and eat a dozen oysters stat apples and pears and orchard fruits just like coming out of there I'd be eating this with cooked seafood for sure like a really lovely salmon some fatty fish I'd be very very into this uh, and I'd be having a very good time <laughs> Finally, we come to it at last, the beginning of the end. For, for me, obviously. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, this is a little bit, like it's a white wine, but it, it looks like there's almost a little bit of green in there, just in terms of the color. Like the last one we had was really like clean, crisp, clear white wine, whereas this has just got a like, little bit of sun sun going on in there. Pineapple-y thing, like an orange wine of some description. It's really fresh and bright pineapple-y. Kind of peachy, got some like herbaceous, like stemmy interest. It's got some boxes ticked here. This has just got a tiny little bit of haze to it, which I'm really intrigued by. Oh. And that's why this is on skins. This is definitely on skins. We're getting these like mandarin, clementine, kumquat, you know, beautiful citruses coming through again. Like lemon pith, citrusy. It, yeah, kind of nutty and textural actually. <laughs> I don't know, like I've just got help from a friend on that one, but. A nice kind of like underripe pineapple-y, juicy, like golden circle fruit number. Uh, the structure of it's really quite nice. There is a nice like rounded tannin here. Acid's really, quite delicious. Yep, Skinzy, orange, esoterico vibes. But that's an orange wine, beautiful orange wine for days. Um, or amber wine, as we should really call it now. But that's great, that's easy drinking. That's It's mandarin, it's fresh, it's vibrant, there's really good acidity to it. I'd pay 32 for that, for sure. 32, and you know what? I'm taking 12 of it as well. I think cold, that's gonna absolutely fly out the gate. That's a very, very good wine. All of these wines today have been absolutely stellar. And I just wanna see who's right. That's what I want. I want the competition of the tasting. Boys, that was a fucking lineup. That was juice. Yeah, what a treat. Some of these absolutely banged. Yeah, they hit hard. That was a festival of flavor and I, I bought a lot of wine. Festival of flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Wine number one, uh, very good fun. Delicious. Yeah. yeah, absolute juice. I was like teetering between 
like Shiraz, I thought Shiraz Syrah, like it's really opulent, really juicy, really generous, and like great tannin structure. It was just good. Well, True. I said three for thirty-two. I said twelve for thirty. No. I was, I just went in for it. Well, I was so for well, it. it. Better be thirty dollars, Lucky. What is it? Dang! Yeah, cool. we're, yeah. we're in the ballpark. Yeah, Great. That's good. What do we got? Yeah. It's Cabernet Shiraz from the hills. That makes yeah, cool. sense. Yeah. This is the spicy thing, it's the juicy thing. Yeah. Got the region wrong, but it's yeah. It's nice light for a Cab Shiraz, isn't it? Yeah, super. I mean, like it's Adelaide Hill, so it's going to be a little bit lighter. Particularly with the Cabernet side of things, like it generally shows this great deal of restraint in the hills. Uh, haven't, there's not too much of it around, and it, there needs to be more of it. This is really cool. Uh, Riley Harrison, uh, who's making some epic wines, does some Grenache, does some Shiraz. This is a Cab Shiraz. Um, delicious. Cool. Really Barrel. cool. Yeah, yeah. Juice. Number two. I have absolutely no idea what this is. Oh, good news. I do. It's Pinot Noir. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Please be Pinot Noir. If it's Pinot Please Noir, be Pinot Noir. I will be stunned. Yeah, you were all about this one, weren't you? Henry? I was really into this one. This was my this was my wine of the lineup for me. This was it has this wonderful vegetality to it. So like um, smoked capsicum. It was really like playing mm. in that sweet vegetable space, and I was just all about it. I also thought like maybe it was a bit exy. Or oh, it could maybe, maybe it was XE on the line. It I could don't be. know. It could well be. Uh, I went kind of modest. I went. I wanted six bottles and thirty-five, please. It's exactly what I said. <laughs> and so I said it's eighty bucks, and I'd be happy to pay eighty dollars for that. And I'm taking twelve. I was so about this wine. Cool. Damn. Okay. What is so it? Into it. Okay. Okay. Cool. We can get twenty-four. Okay. I will get twenty-four then. <laughs> it's great news. Also, I have a question about uh, how oh. much you're getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, this is Harkham. I think this is Hunter Valley from memory. Okay. Um, Harkham Angel Shiraz from the wow. Hunter Valley. Yeah, 100% Shiraz from Hunter Valley. Damn, I really need to brush up on my Hunter Valley Shiraz. Man. Um, it's not something I generally go for, but man, that's really cool. That label looks like it would be airbrushed on a motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Archangel more like Hell's Angel. Yeah, oh, honestly, man. Dude. it wasn't Pino, so shock, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. I was so into that. That's an absolute steal at forty bucks. Right. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. fair shot. Fun with that. Fair, fair. Wine number three for me. Wine of the goddamn lineup. Interesting. This is really? real talk Pino. Absolutely unbelievable. Adored it. But I was so about it as well. I love this wine. Yeah, lucky. What do we got? Bang, that's exactly what I okay. thought. I said decimated. 50. Decimated. I said 45. Nice, nice boy. Adelaide. Can you turn it a little, little bit, bit more? Just turn it a little turn bit more. Turn a little bit more. Or Syrah, Syrah Adelaide Hills 2020. What the fuck is holy going on? Shit. Wow. Wow. That is juice. Well, I get it, but holy shit, that's brilliant. I don't get it. Yeah, for 30, for 30 bucks as well, that is outstanding. That is an outstanding bottle for thirty dollars. Oh, Holy sure shit! Is. Wow, 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 wow! Forty, forty percent whole bunch. Like, <laughs> I have no idea who this dude is. Holy shit! Beyond the Pines Viceroy Syrah. Yeah, get it, because uh, otherwise we're gonna buy all of it. Uh, Absolutely. Fuck, this is brilliant. Yeah, it is. Like, that's a very cool wine. Stunning. Unbelievable. I want to know more about this dude and. The wine, like, holy shit, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Number four, delicious. Mm. Good fun. Mm. Like, for me, this is when I said Pinot. I was like, maybe this is Pinot, but maybe there's not enough tannin structure for it. I just don't know. I have no idea. But again, I thought it was just like super drinkable, really refined, but like light, juicy, elegant, mm. and just like, it's just smashable. It's so light. Like, it's like Stupidly watered light. down cordial. It's so thin yeah. and things like yeah. that. But, like, I like watered down cordial. Um, <laughs> uh, Loki, what is it? Oh, yeah, okay. right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, That's exactly what it should be. On the be. button. <laughs> Valpolicella. That nice. doesn't taste like Valpolicella, but I really, nice. really enjoy it. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. That Valpolicella is like that perfect, like, middle weight rustic Italian red. But that has, like, it's just so light and fresh and like yeah. nouveau. Corvina, love it. Yeah. Esoteric Fuck. varietal, but oh, very shit. into Fancy it. yet affordable. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. Absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah That's that, what it says on the packet. Another 12 bagger here for me. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Uh, I didn't mind it at all. I was kind of into it. I thought it had like this really light Chardonnay, you'll be shocked to learn, really light Chardonnay thing going on because it had like a creamy finish. Yep. You are absolutely correct and that's why I called it Chablis. Lucky, what is it? Outstanding. Damn, we're stealing. This is outstanding. 
now and get him out. Oh, Jesus, okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> but a very, very cool. <laughs> very, very cool. What the fuck? God. This goddamn show! You still haven't quite cracked that hole. Uh, no, I haven't. Shabbly will always be my bugbear. The monk and the, the bear. Shabbly dragon. Man. Yeah. <laughs> that is the most textural phalangina I've had, and I haven't had that many phalanginas. But damn, is that delicious? And it's $31. Yeah. Companion phalangina. I'm going Fuck. shopping after we get out of this. I'm going straight, <laughs> I'm straight to the shop. Also, like having the label be the back of your grandmother's playing cards, I love. <laughs> uh, not the most serious wine in the bunch, and we had some really impressive things. Uh, this was just fun. Yeah. This was just fun, pineapple-y, golden circle. I want to drink a lot of it. Three bottles for $30. 12 bottles for $32. 12, 12 bottles for $50. I thought this was <laughs> yes, Oh, sick. shit. Yeah. Okay, here yeah. we go. Here we Lucky, go. what have we got? Oh, great. Oh, get them great twice. Wine. Oh. Yo, Armani, Armani, Bianco Superiore. Vapor yeah. wave orange wine, let's go. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Trebbiano, Vermentino, Malavasia. Yeah, okay, that checks out. Um, yeah. I think this is Frederick Stevenson and I think it's a bunch of people. Um, yeah. I think Frederick Steven is probably the main winemaker behind it who we've had wines on this the show before and absolutely adored and kind of clearly this is no uh, different and <laughs> For 10 percent alcohol, so you can probably drink it all day, but don't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, delicious. And what was it? Uh, Thirty-one dollars. Twenty-six. Okay. Yeah. Right. No Fuck. brainer. Go get it. Just juice flood. This is juice been flood. Value for money. Like these have all been <laughs> relatively cheap wines, and you you wanted twelve of all but one. Yeah. I wanted twelve of three of them. You wanted twelve mm. of two. Yeah. That's got to be as many wines as been bought on the show in quite a while. Though, yeah. Think. And also some like wines I've never heard of before from like new and upcoming producers that have just gone bang. Mm. Yeah. And like absolutely nailed it. There is some like undiscovered gems. And just joyful lineup. varietal usage. Dude. Like, oh my goodness. Top of that, Bonza Vino. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's yes. it, let's go. Absolutely. Bonza. Holy shit. Uh, keep a watch on any of these wines and get them while you can because yeah. these are all sick as fuck. Till next time. See you boys. <laughs>